welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing this week's top 5 Wednesday. This week's top 5 Wednesday is your top 5 gateway books to your favourite genre. Now I found this quite hard because I do have quite a few favourite genres. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to pick 5 of my favourite genres and I'll give you a book for each one. Now my favourite genre is fantasy. And there's obvious books to get you into fantasy like Harry Potter but I'm going to tell you the book that got me into adult fantasy and that is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Now Neverwhere is only the second book I've read by Neil Gaiman so far my favourite one. The only reason why I picked up this book is because on the radio there was a radio retelling of it where James McAvoy and Natalie Dormer were in it and there were a few other people like Anthony Head and Bernard Cribbins that, and I really enjoyed it so I decided to pick up the book and I enjoyed the book even more. Basically it's about a guy who I've forgotten the name, Richard Mayhew, that's his name, he moves down to London and basically he meets a woman called Dor and he gets swept into a place called Neverwhere and it's basically London below, so everything's a bit topsy-turvy. You've got the angel Islington, who's actually an angel. And it's just really good. It's like simple way into fantasy. And I just really love it. It has made me want to read more Neil Gaiman. I have read Ocean at the End of the Lane, but I wasn't too keen on that. And I have also read Good Omens, which is this collaboration with Terry Pratchett. I also do want to read American Gods before that comes out and there's a few short stories I would like to read. I would also like to read Stardust and Coraline. I actually have read Stardust. I am losing my mind here, sorry. I've read Stardust but I got rid of the edition and I want to read Coraline because that movie scares me to death. Even though it's a kid's movie, if you watch that movie you will be so scared. I hope it's not just me and I'm just a scaredy cat. But anyway, I'm going totally off key here. Neverwhere, great introduction to an adult fantasy. Also, if you like your historical fiction, it's a bit like that. But yeah, you just need to give it a read, it's really good. Now, my second favourite genre is historical fiction. I'm a big fan of historical fiction. I'm a big fan of just history in general. I did my degree in history. So obviously, you would think historical fiction is amazing. The first book that really got me into historical fiction was The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I believe that is how it's pronounced. I read The Book Thief quite a while ago. It was ages before I even knew there was a film coming out. I don't know what made me pick it up. I think it's because, you know, World Wars, Germany, books. And you just read it and it's such a good book. It's narrated by death as well, which I think is another reason. So you see it through death's eyes, a little girl who starts stealing books, you know, because they're being burnt. And she goes through so much. There's a Jew hiding in the house. She loses people she loves due to the war. You should just really give it a read, even if you don't like history, the fact that it's narrated by death and it's death looking onto humans before he takes them away. It's just a sweet little story and again, I wouldn't judge it off the film. The film is really good but it could have gone into much more depth, even though I still cried a lot at the film. But yeah, you should really give this a go. It's a great historical fiction. If you like your world wars as well. But obviously there are a lot more historical fictions. If you want something more on the, um, what do you call it? kind of non-fiction side, the White Queen series, so Philippa Gregory's Tudor and Plantagenet series. It's like 14 books. It basically goes through the women from um, Elizabeth of the Plantagenets all the way up through Henry VIII. I still haven't finished it. I've only read the Plantagenet series and I cannot say that word. So I finished that with um, the White Princess who is the lady who gives birth to Henry VIII. But yeah, so you've got two different ones there. The Book Thief is definitely my favourite, but the White Queen novels, they're also nice. I knew when I started this video that I would go totally off note, and I'm doing that already, so I apologise. Now, my second favourite genre is a genre that I only started reading quite recently, I think sometime last year, and that is crime. I have always loved a good crime TV show. I love Midsummer Murders, Sherlock, Lewis, any British murder kind of show I love. So I thought why not give crime fiction a go and the perfect opportunity came about when The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith came out. Now this caught my eye quite a while ago and then of course it came out that J.K. Rowling was the author so of course I definitely went and picked up then and oh my god am I glad. It is such a good series, there's been three books so far and I hope she's writing another one because I really want another one. And it basically follows a private detective called Cormoran Strike and his new PA Robin and they basically solve murders. <laughs> the first 
first one is the murder of a model and at first it seems a bit like suicide but it turns out it's obviously not it's so great you get to see about the character's strike he is an amputee he's got a false leg because i believe he was in the army and it got blown off so you see more about him he's also the son of a famous rock star and he's not very he doesn't have a very good relationship with his father but you see more about that in the third novel this novel is being created into a series by the bbc but i would say read the novel before you watch the tv series because it's going to be done by the bbc so you know it's going to be awesome but just please give it a go i think it's so underrated people talk about jk rowling's casual vacancy and i know she writes it under a pseudonym i cannot say that word pseudonym i don't know she writes it under another name but I still think she deserves credit and you should give it a go, it's such a good book. All three books are amazing and I'm going to stop now because I'm rambling again. So the next two genres are genres that again I've only just recently read but I haven't read much of them and it's something that I'm wanting to get into. So if you have any recommendations for the next two novels could you just comment down below and I'll give them a check out. First genre is horror slash classics and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Now this is my favourite classic and I think it's also kind of introducing me to horror kind of. So Dracula, as everyone all knows, follows a lawyer who basically finds Dracula. Well he goes view the property. It's been a while since I've read this so I'm kind of going off my brain. And then he comes back, Dracula comes back to Whitby with him which is one of the reasons why I love this because I love Whitby. I'm one of the people that when I go to Whitby, I look for Dracula's grave, which apparently people at the Abbey don't like, but you know, if it's Dracula, you have to. And it's basically seen through the diary of Mina, who is Jonathan's fiance, and it's so good. It's not what I expected. You know, it was a bit slow, but then you get really into it, and it's like, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? Even though you know how it ends, you just want to read the original version. And this kind of introduced me to the classics, which is why I'm reading more classics. It also introduced me to horror, because after I read this, I read The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, I believe. And oh god, that freaked me out so much. But I also think I might read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, I read the first one, but I didn't quite like it. Sorry, I have real bad pins and needles in my foot. Oh, these pins and needles. I really just try because whenever I sit down to film videos, I just get real bad pins and needles. And I think standing up would be a lot more comfier. So, on to the next genre. And that is chick lit slash romance. I have only, it's been about a year or so I've been reading these, but I've only been reading from two authors. One of them I stopped reading, and that was Erica James, just because I read a book and it really put me off her. The book that I'm going to show you now is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. This is such a good book to introduce people to this genre. Just because I was never into romance or chick licks, I thought it'd be boring, you know, a girl falls in love with a boy and all that. I'm a big fan of Giovanna Fletcher on YouTube, and also she's married to Tom Fletcher, who's a member of my favourite band. And he's also an old sister-in-law of Carrie Hope Fletcher, who's my favourite YouTube. But anyway, yeah, it's a nice little book. Um, it's set in a little country village, a girl called Sophie, same name as me, works in a little coffee shop, and then a famous actor comes to town, and they fall in love, basically. But it's such a good book, there's so much backstory for Sophie, you find out she's lost her father, she's staying with the mother because she doesn't want to lose her, and it's just so good, there's so much backstory and you just fall in love with the characters, and the sequel, Always With Love, gives you more backstory into Billy, and you just need to read this, Giovanna Fletcher does not get enough credit for her books, all of her books are amazing, all of her books make me cry, and she's made me want to get more into this genre. It was a great gateway book for me, so I hope it's the same for you. Just pick it up. And you know, it's a pretty book as well. So, you know, that's a good reason to pick it up. But yeah, just give her books a go. It doesn't have to be Billy and Me. I just chose Billy and Me because it's her debut novel and it's the book that got me into reading. But basically all her books, I think she's got four out now and I hope she has another one out next year because she tends to have one out every year. But just give it a go. It's a great way into adult romance as well just because i know a lot of YA novels have little romances but this is a good way to get into the adult part of it and it's just so good just give it a go i can't say enough good things about this book so yeah this video ended up being a lot longer than i thought i kind of rambled on a bit there but yeah what did you think do you agree with me what are your gateway novels to maybe different genres that i didn't say 
Um, if you want to, just comment down below and we can have a little discussion. And as usual, there's my Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter and Goodreads linked down below. Feel free to follow me on there. Bye.